Well, hi everybody, Sash here with ID8 Software, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the ways in which you could use ID8 Explorer and ID8 Apps to select elements that are on a bad level and move them to a good level. And what I'm talking about specifically here are levels that were drawn, uh, let's, say, let's say at the same elevation, and then people referring uh, Revit elements and content to both levels. And as you are probably aware, you just cannot take a level uh, in Revit and delete it. Reason being is anything that's associated to that level will actually be deleted as well. And so we need a safe way to audit the information that is uh, on the bad level and select it and then uh, carefully move it over to the correct level. So I'm going to show you some of the things that we, uh, we can do and some of the things that you also want to be aware of. So I'll come to this floor plan over here and this is uh, based on my first floor. However, the way it's named almost implies that it does reference this particular level. However, upon further inspection, I discovered that it is also tied to the uh, 01 bad level. Meaning, if I delete that level, I'm going to lose this view and all of the annotation that happens to be on this view. So we want to be very, very careful. Now, if you discover that most of your views are associated to this bad level, and then only a couple of views uh, are associated to the other level, maybe you want to consider taking the uh, what would be considered the bad level and making it the good level, and then take the other level and make it a bad level. That way you don't have as much uh, administrative work to, uh, to do. But again, you need to be careful on how you move content from uh, one level to another. So we need to kind of keep that in mind. For this example, though, I'm going to make a couple copies of these floor plans over here uh, and put them on the good level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the ID8 view creator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plans of levels and I'm going to use our level rule. I'm going to take the floor plan views that are tied to the bad level and I'm going to duplicate them to the good level. So. I'll be generating some new views and of course they're going to be named the same in here so for now what I'll just do is say uh, uh, dash new okay and there they are and we can see over here that my new level is going to be tied to the 01 floor and I'll create those views and we can see over here now I have these two uh, views so if I come over to 01 floor new we see over here that we now are tied to the correct level or the good level now what I want to do is I want to grab the annotation content uh, from this and also then move it to the new level. Or you can copy it and then delete this later on. I'm going to use uh, ID Explorer to get some information about what is uh, on this view. So I'm going to take the uh, active view and uh, I will go ahead and um, and just sort it by level for now. And uh, actually, I can even, yeah, I could sort it by level here and maybe go to annotation. Let's start with that. And what I will do is when I come in over here on the bad level, I could see that uh, on the bad level, I have a level itself and some room tags. Now, I want to point out to you the, uh, these room tags that I see over here, uh, even though the tags are not necessarily uh, um, level related, they're view related, there is an association to the room itself and, and where that room is placed and what level is placed on and because those tags kind of follow suit. So for example if I double click and just go here um, I can see that the this is the offending office and again it doesn't really matter what view you're in for this but what I wanted to point out is that this office is tied to the bad level. Okay, and that's the reason why these tags were showing up under the bad level. So I, um, I would like to take this office and move it to the good level. And so what I can do here at this point is I can go ahead and uh, take this office and I will cut it to the clipboard. Okay, it says a room was deleted but remains uh, in the schedule. Now what I can do is I can come in over here to the 01 floor new and what I may consider doing is coming in here and saying modify, paste the line to the selected levels, and then I'll paste it to the 01 floor. Okay, and now I see over here it's on the correct uh, level. Okay, and you see these other corresponding rooms are the same way. So we have that part, you know, taken care of. Now if I say entire project by level and do annotation, all I'm left with now is just the level itself. So that's a, that's a good sign. And so if I double click on it, it's going to take me and show me the level. Okay, so we have that portion uh, taken care of. 
Uh, now what I want to do is come back to the bad floor plan and I'm going to say um, active view and I'll just say by category and then annotation. And what I want to look at are all the annotation categories that are showing up in here. Uh, door tags are definitely something that I want to maybe cut and paste. Elevation markers I don't want to. Uh, and the reason why is if I come over here, the elevation markers also show up. And if I select that and then come back to this one, it's the same elevation marker. So I don't need to do that. When I look at lines, I also see the room separation lines. Here they are. If I come to the 01 floor new, it's the same room separation line. So yes, they are annotation based elements, but I don't need to cut and paste the same uh, information. So what I do want to do is come here and grab the door tags. I'll grab the room tags and the text notes. These I feel really confident uh, with, okay, because these will not show up in the other view. And then I'm going to cut these as well. And yes, we are warned that a room tag is deleted and there's 30 of them, no big deal because I'm going to come right back here and paste it to the current view. All right, and that takes care of that. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the furniture plan. I'm going to come over here to the furniture plan. I'll clear any existing selection. Now when I come in over here, same thing. I have some door tags and I have some room tags and some text notes, same thing. And now what I'll do is I will also cut these to the clipboard. You see what it leaves me here, things that are uh, view-based or model, uh, model line-based. Now I'll come in over here to the uh, correct furniture plan, and same thing, I will paste these aligned to the current view. Okay, so essentially what I did here is I transferred the, uh, shall we say, the content, the uh, annotation-based content from the bad views uh, over to the good views. Okay, so that, that, that seems pretty good. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'll may, I may go, go to my uh, 3D view over here. All right, and I'll just kind of move Explorer um, over here. Now what I want to assess are the elements that are, uh, let's say, on the actual level called bad level. And I want to basically cut that information out and paste it uh, on the good level. So I'm going to go entire project. I'm going to sort it by level. And again, if I uh, come over here and go none, just as an example, when I go to the bad level, I can see over here that these all look like model-based information. Where you have to be careful is you don't want to cut the level itself. Sometimes it may not be a bad idea to filter based on model elements. And we can see over here doors, floors, planting, etc. Now, one of the things I want to point out to you is if you want to get some more granular information about um, about this selection over here. I'm going to grab walls just as an example and I can go query these. And what I, uh, one of the things I want to point out about query is we're giving you access to a lot of parameter data uh, that you would normally never see in a Revit model. But this allows me to take my selection if need be and sort it by uh, more granularized data. So for example, I can come in over here and say, you know, what is my, um, my base uh, name as an example. So all of these walls, what are they all tied to? We can see it says bad level and that actually confirms right there. All right, so then I can come over here and say, oh, what is my you know top constraint? What is the name? And if I hold down the control key, we could see that six of the walls actually go up to the roof, but one of those walls does not. If you just want to get more info about it, I could select that and I can find out it's this curtain wall uh, pavilion wall and we could see it's this one over here and you can see it, it's unconnected but again it's base is on the bad level all right I'm gonna go uh, select none over here and I'm gonna say uh, entire project by level and now uh, now that I feel good about this selection over here I'm gonna take these elements and again I can come over here and isolate those elements if I want to take another quick look at them Okay, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and reset it. So what I will do is grab these elements that are on the bad level, and I'm going to cut them to the clipboard. Now, when you cut them to the clipboard, uh, we will get some warnings, right? There are no errors, thank goodness. Uh, and it says multiple uh, rooms are enclosed in the same region. That's because I removed a whole bunch of walls. Now, keep in mind, you may want to do this on a kind of category by category basis just to be on the safe side. Uh, just be aware that, you know, if you pick walls and there are um, elements that are host to the walls, those elements are going to go with them as well. So, and if you feel like this isn't working um, uh, when you cut everything or you're getting errors, you may want to look at select categories to kind of cut and then paste. All right, so I'm going to come in over here and, and say, okay. 
And now what I'm going to do here is now that these are on the clipboard, I'm going to say paste the line to the selected levels. And this time I want to put them on the first floor. And then we're going to let Revit do its, uh, its work here. All right, looks like it's working so far. Hey, there we go. All right, now uh, I'm going to come over here. Let me just go ahead and kind of refresh things here. When I say entire project by level, now I do not see anything uh, regarding the bad level. All right, so now what I can do just to be on the safe side is I could say, okay, tell me, uh, you know, entire project uh, by level. Let's look at annotation. Uh, I see here back at the annotation, I have this bad level over here. If I select this bad level and select Smart Delete, let's see what Smart Delete, uh, let's see what it reports uh, in terms of what will be deleted uh, if I actually go in there and delete this level. So we have some floor plan views that we knew we were going to lose or that we want to delete because these are referencing the bad level. We have the bad level itself, and then we actually have a room. Now, remember, I did cut and paste that room, so we should be okay in this regard. And then I also do have a couple of the viewports itself. So the not on sheets are just reporting the views that are not on the sheets, but these are the same exact thing. So now if I come in over here and go ahead and hit the delete button, uh, again, this is now Revit just warning us what you're going to lose. You're going to lose the five views and the uh, or the five elements in the two views, and of course you're going to lose these views themselves. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And so now, if I come back over here to the floor plan new, one of the things I do need to do um, is actually just re-tag this one because when I cut and paste it, I only cut the room, not the um, not the actual uh, tag itself. But that's an easy fix. Um, but now we've cleaned this up. So now all of my walls are now referenced on the correct level. I now have the new views uh, that are associated to the uh, correct level and we should be good to go uh, and we can proceed. So go ahead and give it a shot. And uh, if you have any questions or, uh, or uh, feature requests, uh, be sure to reach out to us by visiting our website at www.id8software.com. Thank you.